Hey golf people, on today's episode, we're checking out the Phoenix 7 Sapphire Solar. This thing is an extremely capable watch. I'm gonna take it with me on some adventures to South America, and we're gonna have some fun out here on the golf course with it as well. Let's do it, guys. I don't think it can be overstated just how good and capable this watch is. Let's get into the materials and how this watch is actually made. I've got the Sapphire Solar Edition, Sapphire meaning Sapphire Crystal, meaning this watch is going to be extremely scratch resistant. The glass should be looking new even many years down the road. Very tough to scratch Sapphire. It's also solar. That solar is going to add an extreme amount of battery life to this. Right out of the box, I got two full weeks of battery life, even playing a round of golf in those two weeks. I was also traveling, using a lot of GPS, tracking all my sleep. I basically wore this thing day and night. Garmin says the Phoenix 7 will last up to 18 days and the solar model I have will last up to 22 days with the extra charge you'll get from the sun. The solar model will actually go to 73 hours if you only use the GPS and you get rid of some of the other functions. There's also a battery saver mode that will give you an incredible 173 days of use. Now, uh, I don't know what you'll be doing over that period of time, but it's possible and it's interesting to know that. The watch itself is a mixture of titanium and some plastic parts, and this thing sits extremely light and extremely comfortably on the wrist. Even though it's a big watch, this watch is 47 millimeters in diameter, and the thickness is 14 and a half, so it sits pretty proud on the wrist. I wouldn't consider this a dress watch in any way. It's definitely a sports adventure watch and something you're gonna use in a much more casual environment. Now, getting beyond the specs, this thing is capable pretty much for any sport or adventure activity that you are going to perform. As you know, this is a golf channel and I'm really excited for the golf features of this watch. Let me walk you through a few of these on course and then we'll get into what else this watch can do. All right, so now that we've arrived at the course, all you need to do there is hit that action button, hit golf, you're going to see wait for GPS, it's going to find it. Then it's gonna tell you a list of the courses near you. Now this course actually has three setups. Today we are playing Meadow to Pine. It asks if you'd like to keep score, which I would. Click that button. Then it's gonna ask you what tees you'd like to use. I'll be playing the white tees today. Now my driver distance is set for 260 yards and you can see that I've got a chance of carrying the water there. That's what that line is. And so rather than take driver here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit three wood, try to be a little smart today <laughs> and uh, not hit the water. But if we wanna look at some of the other features of this watch, you can move the flag around on the green. In fact, today the flag is over here. So I'm gonna move that right now, I can see that. And I can then go ahead and hit this back button and go back to my view there. Now, if I go ahead and bounce into this hole, you can again see 260, that's driver distance error. You can kind of view a little bit around this hole. I can back back out a little bit and see what the features of this hole are. Really no bunkers until we get up to the green there, as you can see. Let's hit a good shot. Now what the watch is gonna do there is it's going to ask you what club did you hit? I hit three wood and it's gonna track all the clubs I hit here on course today. Let's go find that ball. So if you've tried any Garmin watch in the past, whether it's an S12, 42, 62, 60, any of them, you'll feel very comfortable using this system. It's the exact same Garmin golf functionality that's found in all of the golf watches, but it's right here in this Phoenix 7. As you're marching up to the ball, you can see that number on top is ticking up. It just hit 200. That is the distance off the tee. Now, again, I hit three wood here to be short of the water, which I am. I've arrived at my ball here and we are at 213. So into the wind, about what I expected. That's what we're left with. Now the watch tells us there, 143.2 the middle, which again is where this flag stick is in the middle of this green, it looks like. Well, it could be front actually. So uh, we're gonna hit like a 140 shot would be ideal here. I'm gonna go 
eight iron because that wins into me. I think it's up there. <laughs> Let's go find out. But again, asking us which club we used, might be tough for you to see that in the sun, but again, you can scroll through and it's assuming eight iron actually, and that's correct. So I found all of these Garmin watches to be extremely good in picking up like 95 to 98% of shots out there. Sometimes they'll miss a chip, for instance, because just does not feel the vibration of such a soft shot, I guess it is. But all in all, very good. But if you do miss any shots out here, at the end of your round, you can go into the Garmin Golf app. Very easy to add those shots back in. Of course, as long as you remember what those shots were. But your scorecard should also probably inform those decisions as well. You'll be keeping track of score on this watch as you play. And I'll show you that feature right after we hopefully make some putts. So after the hole finishes, you are going to get a number there on the screen. It's always going to default to par. So four was par on that hole. It's actually what I had, but if I had a birdie, I'd go down. If I had a bogey, I'd go up. Hopefully you never have a double bogey. <laughs> you see the two squares there. But I did have a par, so I'll hit that. Then it's going to ask how many putts we had. Again, you can go down or up on putts. I had two putts. It's going to ask if you were in the fairway or if you missed it left or right. You can scroll through those options. I did hit the fairway, and then it's going to ask if you had penalties, whether you were in the water or went out of bounds or something like that. I had no penalties. Thankfully, we're going to go ahead and hit that button. There's my scorecard there. You can look through all of the different scores throughout every hole. And now we're off to hole number two. Guys, if you're thinking about buying the Phoenix 7 or any of the line of Garmin watches, whether they're golf watches or adventure watches, I highly recommend you check out playbetter.com. They've got the best pricing on the internet. When you shop there, it helps support this show, Let's Play Through. And if you use the code LPT at checkout, you're going to get some little goodies from our show to you. Playbetter.com. I'll leave a link down in the description to purchase your Phoenix 7. So there's one hole of golf, and we will definitely get back to more golf very soon. But I want to walk you through some of the next level fitness and health features built in to the Phoenix 7. It's pretty incredible. It includes the basics like heart rate as well as step count. I've taken 6,667 steps out here today, but then it's got some next level features that I really love. For instance, there is a feature called body battery, which will literally tell you the energy level in your body in any given moment. It is incredible, and I find it to be really accurate. When I see that thing at 20% or lower, I often am looking for a bed to take a nap. It's extremely accurate, and when my energy levels are high, I've noticed I've been much more productive. If we talk about using this in sports and athletics, I definitely perform at my best when my body battery is highest, and it's been really interesting to track these things and see how my performance correlates to the body battery. It's uncanny. The Phoenix 7 also tracks your sleep and not only when you're asleep, but actually the levels of sleep and how deep your sleep is. As you can see here, it actually tracks four stages of sleep and shows you when you enter those stages throughout the night. It's incredible. And of course that ties into the body battery. When you get good restful sleep, your body battery is going to be fully charged when you don't you're going to have problems the next day. Now, in addition to the amazing golf features, which again are my favorite, this is really a multi-sport watch. So many golfers play other sports like myself. I love to do kayaking. I love to go hiking. I like to play tennis. I like to go skiing. All of those sports can be tracked. And if you are a skier, it actually has trail maps of all of the major slopes out there. Really cool. This is a navigation watch after all. Now let's get into some of the adventure features of this watch. Of course, being Garmin made, this is going to have first class GPS. It's extremely accurate, not only on the golf course, but wherever you are. I found the map feature to be extremely handy, especially traveling through towns that I have never been before. And if I don't have access to my phone, I've actually got it right there on my watch. If you do any sort of motorcycling or hiking, you're going to love to have one of these things just for the map features alone. If you are into hiking and mountaineering, of course, it will track 
your altitude. And I also found that being in Ecuador in the mountains and the high Andes, I found that to be really useful just to know where I was and why I was breathing so heavily up there. Speaking of breathing, this watch will also track your oxygen levels. And this is not medical advice in any way, shape, or form, but many folks have been able to use this type of device to see if they have any respiratory illnesses just like we went through in 2020, many of us. If you have a watch like this, you could potentially catch it before it got really serious and you need hospitalization. Very, very cool. And you don't have to be afraid to get this watch wet. It will actually be good for diving up to 100 meters, which is really incredible. I took it in Ecuador to the Isla de la Plata. I swam with Wonderful fish in this coral reef. We even saw some sea turtles and some whales out there. This thing had no problem getting wet. Now that we've gone over some of the amazing features this watch can do outside of golf, it's definitely time to get back to the golf course so I can show you a little bit more. Ah, I hit the cart path. <laughs> and look at that little spot in the cart path it found too. Crazy how many balls can find a cart path. The cart path's only like three feet wide. How is that possible? I don't know. I've got a downhill lie here and this watch does slope adjusted distances just by tapping it. You see those little squares? I'm going uphill so it's 151 to the center. I'm just gonna play to the center of this hole. It would be 149 if I didn't have slope adjustment there just so you see that. Pretty good shot. Could be middle of the green. And it is. I got a real good crack at birdie now. Yes, sir. Another feature I want to show you is the pin pointer. If you're playing in some hilly conditions, you've got a blind shot. This is something that could be very useful. Okay, so you hit the action button there, and then you're going to get a few options. One of them is pin pointer, and it will literally show you where that flag stick is as you rotate your arm. Very, very cool. Very, very useful. Well guys, there you have it. This has to be the most capable and incredible smartwatch for golf and for adventure that I've ever come across. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions because I did a review recently on the Garmin Epix. I'm gonna to link to it right here on the top of your screen if you wanna check that one out. But the main difference is between the Phoenix 7, Sapphire Solar, and that Epix is the Epix has an incredible AMOLED screen. It is the best screen I've ever seen on a smartwatch, bar none, and I'm talking Apple watches, Android watches, anything. It's the best. On the Phoenix 7, you are going to get the solar option and extended battery life, but the screen will not be as good, so that's the trade-off. Otherwise, these watches are extremely similar, almost exactly the same in terms of functionality. But if you do wanna check out the Epix review, full review, here it is again on the screen. You can check that one out and make the right decision for yourself. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed putting it together. And I'll catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.